Well, guys, the day is finally here. True and false are now actual booleans. Type of true will return boolean and, and not a not a number. Can't believe I'm so excited for this. All right, this is this is what beta twenty three one one four zero seven and the IDE version is twenty three one one four twenty eight. Uh, this will be in 2.3.7 stable. Okay. Let us just, uh, let us run this installer. This is, this is not a usual video. This is, I'm just, I am unreasonably excited about this prospect. About true and false being actual booleans. I can't believe that's a sentence that I actually have to say. So if you, uh, for those unaware, back at the beginning of this year, I made a I made a video on the data types in Game Maker, and I, I made a big whole dramatic song and dance about how true and false weren't booleans, uh, as far as Game Maker concerned. Even though it do, does technically have a boolean type, uh, which is used for actual uh, logical operations and such. Meanwhile, uh, the actual true and false keywords are uh, more like more like numbers. Not even integers, I'm pretty sure there are floats. Alright, so if, uh, if GameMaker can install a little faster, that would be great. I'm also going to have to install the runtime. Okay, that actually took a while to, uh, to install. Anyway, let me create myself a new project, new blank project, GML project. This is just going to be like... Bulls. I am unreasonably excited about this whole thing. Um... Let me create myself a new script. Font size bigger. That is insane. All right, so things like type of like, um, five equals uh, double equals five. This was always true, right? Why Why do I have to stop the game? The game should already be stopped. This was always a bool. Um, if you wanted a true boolean type in Game Maker, you would have had to have done some logical operation such as this, such as comparing two numbers greater than less than whatever. There was some debate, and I am 95% sure this won't be a problem, because if it, if it does turn out to be a problem, then how could Yo-Yo Games have dropped the ball this badly? But if you have something like... Um... Let's say var a equals a number, and let's say the uh, the evaluation is going to be like a is equals equals ten or something like that. All right, that looks wrong with that parentheses around it. Um, if I were to say bool eval, that is still going to be like this. Absolutely should be okay. I'm sorry, I wanted um type of. Uh, this absolutely should be a boolean. And there's a couple, there's a couple situations where, um, where people had questions about this, uh, such as, um, let's say a function that returns a boolean window get full screen equals false. Uh, this, this will evaluate true. I don't, I actually don't know what this will evaluate to because this will be running before the game window even appears, but regardless, that evaluates to a bool. Uh, the type of that is a bool. Yeah, you don't see this kind of code very much anymore because by this point in time, most people have caught on that you can simply write the same expression like this. Although you still do sometimes, especially in older game maker code, you still see sometimes like the result of a function call equals true or false or whatever. Yeah, uh, that's that's not going to be a problem. I should be able to absolutely run all any and all of my uh, my current large scale game maker projects without anything bad happening because of the type conversion between uh, numbers and and boolean types for true and false. Let me just open one of those real quick. Yeah, okay, this is duck game. This is gonna take a minute to compile because there are a bunch of shaders in it, but we we absolutely should be having this run without any issue. Once in a while, a beta will introduce a, a new bug somewhere that causes things to break. I can't imagine that this uh, this type conversion between, between bools and numbers is gonna be one of them. Okay, the game window has appeared, the game data has loaded, we're at the title screen, we are, uh, we are walking around as the duck, everything is fine. 
uh, the type conversion between real numbers and booleans and whatever whatever I just said has not caused any issues. Um, yeah, the game still the game is still functional. I can talk to talk to dudes. All right, do you have anything to say? Can I actually? <clears throat> no, I haven't posted much footage of this uh, recently because it's been a lot of like mechanical stuff. It hasn't been a lot of like gameplay that lasts more than like five seconds. Anyway, bulls are now booleans. I can't believe I have to actually say that, but Game Maker has taken another step out of the Stone Age. Please, that makes it sound like I'm deriding it. This realistically isn't going to make any changes to the way that anybody uses Game Maker, but it is a nice, uh, shall I call it a symbolic gesture, I guess. But yeah, this isn't this isn't a long video. This isn't really even what I would call a serious video. This is not what most of my videos are going to look like. But I hope you all find this as a as enjoyable as I do, and I will see you all later.